Lolly ho, internet. This is the Ore Pig, Damien Orso, coming at you for my first video and what I hope is one of many. Uh, the reason that I'm doing this video is not to take away from anybody uh, out there, any of the YouTubers. I follow them. I watch them. They're very inspiring from people who do fitness videos as well as those who have done weight loss videos. But I just felt that I could bring to the table uh, another story, uh, another inspiration, another motivation to those that are looking for something a, a little bit extra. A lot of times it's it's faster for you to watch the video than it is for that person to actually produce them. So maybe you need uh, something else or maybe you feel that you can relate more to my story. I know that was one of the big reasons of why I wanted to start doing this was because a lot of people told me how inspiring I was to them. And also because I felt like my story is a, a little bit different than the ones that I've, I found out there. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what I mean uh, right now. So my angles that I feel are, are different and other people might be able to relate is that I was a fat kid okay I grew up uh, overweight my family's overweight um, from my parents to uh, their sisters and brothers as well everybody's overweight right so you have that whole genetics thing right it's it's in your blood it's genetics uh, you're fat your parents are fat everybody else is gonna be fat so I had to overcome that uh, I, I also uh, I overcame that once uh, going to college and everything and uh, I got uh, you know anybody who's going to college knows you don't have the, the biggest paycheck to uh, pay for everything so you you kind of tend to eat ramen noodles and cup of noodles and eat what you can on a, on a tight budget and you don't have that much food to go by but yet you need all kind of energy to walk around campus so I was able to lose all my weight and then from there I was able to go ahead and join the Marine Corps which was great you know fitness is a, a lifestyle in the Marine Corps you have to maintain your fitness you're paid to maintain your fitness from gyms being provided on base to you be you given time to run and work out and everything so I was able to do that but then when I got out of the Marine Corps I kind of fell to the wayside and it became even worse than it was before when I was a fat kid uh, growing up I don't know how big I was but I can tell you this I know that when I had to get clothes I could still get them at like Walmart and stuff because I was like 2x and 3x well after getting out of the Marine Corps uh, for the next 10 years or so you know, I had an active lifestyle, so I ate a lot of food. Well, what happened was that went bye-bye. New job, new career, new schedule, but yet my eating style stayed the same. No excuse, okay? It's all my fault. It's on me. I, but I've also analyzed and said, where did I go wrong? This is what I need to fix, but it's all on me. However, uh, I ballooned up to over 500 pounds, okay? I started to have to special order my stuff from uh, King Size Direct and uh, go to you know fat and tall because I couldn't just get my stuff from a regular department store because I was so uh, big okay I was uh, I was over 500 pounds my waist was around 60 inches or so it was it was bad all right I, w I was big I was fat I was huge whatever you want to call it ginormous and uh, nothing you know I thought it was gonna take like a heart attack or something like that to scare me into actually losing weight but luckily nothing like that happened I just uh, my wife, thank goodness, uh, she didn't. She wasn't mean. She wasn't cruel. She never told me how fat I was and that I needed to lose weight. You know, she just bared it. But one day she was like, "I want to go back to the gym." And we we had done diets and we had gone to the gym, you know, several times. Start it, stop it, start it, stop it. But she was like, "You know, I want to go to the gym. I want to work out." And when I was in the Marine Corps, I was very big into working out. I had a good regiment. I had a good routine, and I and I worked out hard. And I I, I enjoyed bodybuilding. So. I knew what I had to do. It's just a matter of not doing it. So anyway, fast forward, my wife says, I want to go back to the gym. And I say, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go with you. And this time it stuck. For whatever reason, it stuck. And we stayed with it. And I was able to drop all my weight. Now, now that's going to be the second video. I'm going to get into all that and how I dropped the weight and what I did and everything like that. So just be patient or uh, if you want, just stop this video and, and look for the next one if it's out yet. And if it's not, just uh, you know, stand by. It's coming soon. My other angle that I have that I noticed uh, other YouTubers uh, didn't have was my age, okay? I'm 39 years old. I just turned 39 years old. But when I did all my weight loss, I was pretty much 37 to 38-ish, you know? Maybe I was, uh, if you want to do half years, I was 37 and a half, and it took me until 38 and a half to lose the weight to, to get to about where I'm at right now. 
Uh, so I was old and the reason I bring that up is because when I was a kid and I was fat again going back my parents would always tell me Damien you need to lose the weight now you know you need to lose it now while you're young and your metabolism is fast because once you get old uh, your metabolism slows way down it's so much harder to lose weight just look at your dad and I we're, we're so much harder well you know here I am I'm a dad uh, my kids are teenagers I, I got one who's uh, you know a sophomore in high school and stuff yeah that's how old I am so my kids are old. This was definitely about the time that my parents told me this type of stuff. So they had to be right around that same age. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't keep track, right? You're a kid. You, you really don't worry about how old your parents are or anything. Um, so I don't know how old they were. But the fact is, is, is uh, I guess the point I'm trying to get across is, one, you're never too old. And two, don't make excuses. There, there's no excuse. You, you can always go and lose weight. And there's no factor that's going to hold you back. The only thing that's going to hold you back is making excuses and say, I can't do this, I can't do that. You can do it, but it takes time. And you have to understand that. Human beings, we want instantaneous results. Okay, We want to start a diet, and by the end of the week, we want to see you know, 10, 20 pounds gone or whatever it is. We want to see instantaneous results. If we start a diet on Monday, Tuesday, when we step on the scale, I want to see five pounds gone. You know, I want to see uh, at least a pound gone, two, three pounds. You, you want those instantaneous results, and it doesn't happen immediately. So you have to be patient. You have to understand that it takes time, and you can't, you can't sit there and make excuses as to why it's not happening or, or why you can't have it happen. So a lot of the people I saw who lost weight, look, they're awesome. Inspiration all the way around. But if you're looking at that and saying, these guys are young, they're, they're between 18 and 23, a lot of these videos that I see for these people losing weight. And I don't want that to be an excuse for anybody that uh, this person lost this weight and they did so good because they're so old. I, that, that should not be an excuse, okay? So that's another reason that this video is being made is because I want people to understand that it doesn't matter what your age is, uh, you can do it. The last thing uh, that I have for a good angle, I feel, is the time that it took for me to lose my weight. Now, I know that I am going to stir up controversy on this, and I understand that. And there's going to be people who tell me that I did it unhealthy and that uh, I'm destined for failure, whatever that may be, whatever the case is. Uh, haters going to hate, right? The bottom line, however, is I knew I needed to drop this weight. I wanted to do it as quickly as possible because I know what I have to do to maintain the weight. I did that for six years in the Marine Corps. I know how to maintain my weight. The fact is I just let myself go so far and I couldn't do the things I needed to do to maintain my weight level. So in August, about August 15th of 2015, I started my diet. I started the diet that worked, okay? Because remember, I, I told you, I tried other diets. I tried other things. I did little tweaks here and there and stuff. And and, it, and, it, and they might have worked. They might have worked a little bit. I wasn't happy with the results. And eventually, I would fall off the wagon and I would go back to eating what I wanted to eat uh, at all times. So it didn't always work. So about August of 2015, I was over 500 pounds. I, like I said, I had a 60-inch waist. By January of 2016, okay, that's August, September, October, November, December. Just about five months. I go the wrong way with the camera. Yeah. Okay. Just about five months that it took me. Over 500 pounds, 16 inch waist. In five months, I was weighing 281 pounds and I had a 42 inch waist. All right. I lost 18 inches and I lost 220 pounds in about five months time with my diet. Now, I will say also, you know, it's easier for a big, gigantic, fat guy like I was over 500 pounds to lose weight. Why? Because to maintain that weight, I would have to eat over 5,000 calories to eat that weight, okay? Not even going into uh, actually moving and doing exercises and stuff like that, but just to maintain that weight, I can eat 5,000 calories. And I know people are like, oh, how could you eat that much? I can eat that much. I can still eat that much. I could easily let myself go right now. You wimps out there that sit down and can't even eat like a large pizza, you eat like two, maybe four pieces. You're like, oh, oh, I'm so full. I can eat a large pizza all by myself and then look at that cookie dessert and eat that whole thing by myself, okay? I can eat. My brain will not register that I'm full until I'm way past that point. And 
I would maintain that level of fullness my whole entire time. And any time that it seemed to go away to where I wasn't full, to where I'm almost to the point of hurting, okay, I would eat some more because I, I'm starting to feel hungry. I'm starting to get hungry. Let me eat some more. And I would eat again. And I could eat like a, I could eat six Snickers bars, okay, in, in one sitting. That ain't hard. So 5,000 calories, poof, that was actually, that was actually uh, restraining myself and, and not eating what I could. I, I could have easily ballooned up to probably 800 pounds, okay? Uh, no problem. Just because I can do the calorie intake. But I had to limit myself. I had to cut that down. And like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that in my very next video, which uh, hopefully I, I record tomorrow. I did all my outlines and stuff. I got three good videos uh, right now that I'm going to put out, uh, stuff I want to get out there, stuff I think that people will find interesting uh, and factual of what I've done and probably questions that they have. Which, My last point, if you got questions, if there's anything you want to see or anything you want to uh, learn about, or uh, tricks or techniques or you have specific concerns give me a comment okay uh, I'm gonna read those comments and I'm gonna try to get ideas for even more videos like I said I've got I've got two more lined up already I probably could easily do three or four more uh, after that so I've got some videos lined up but I'm always uh, interested to hear what people want to see because maybe what I'm thinking y'all want to see y'all really could care less about so let me know in the comments if there's any uh, questions or concerns or anything that you have for what kind of videos you uh, want to see remember that it's uh, important form over weight that's my motto form over weight correct form when you're weightlifting over the amount of weight it's not about how much weight you can throw up it's about having that good form okay Arnold Schwarzenegger always said that the reason he had such a big chest was because he went all the way out further on his flies than anybody else. You apply that to everything. Good form over the amount of weight that you're doing, and you're going to grow bigger muscle, get bigger gains, all right? So take care. I hope to see you all soon in the next video.